Oh no, he's gonna be here any minute, and there's still a mess everywhere. Didn't you learn after everything that happened? If you leave everything a mess, he won't be happy. He'll pitch a fit that I didn't work hard enough. But I promised him good food. I told him that I was going to try. I really did try. I just wanted him to be happy, and I know that I was gonna try and be a good host. Don't keep him waiting, don't keep him waiting. You know what happens if you keep him waiting too long. Who is it? Oh gosh, it's you. Uh, yeah, please, come right in. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I answered as quickly as I could. Thank God, at least that's one disaster averted. Don't keep your head up though, at least not yet. Oh, um, I, uh, uh, could I make a suggestion? No, I didn't say anything. That look, it's so familiar. He used to stare at me like that all the time. That intense stare that would strike and instill fear in me, regardless of context. It was that look every single day. I never knew what I did wrong. But I was always doing something wrong for him. If I look away, he might say something about it. But I can't bear to look in his eyes. Especially when he's just standing there. What do I do? Am I... okay? Last time I heard that was at a clinic. And I had to say yes. It wasn't pretty if I said anything else. Um, yeah, I'm alright. It's just... You've never been to my place before, so it's a strange time for me. You get to see my home for the first time. I cleaned every inch before I started with dinner. I swear I did. I didn't want you to visit when everything was a mess, so I didn't do anything else until I turned this place right side up again. Oh, your shoes? If you want to keep your shoes on or take them off, it's totally up to you. D don't, don't just stand, stand there, there, host. You're, You're already, already making him wait. wait. He, he didn't, didn't like, like waiting. waiting. The living room is bigger, so why don't we get comfortable? My home is yours while you're here. It's nothing special, really. Just a couch, TV, some shelves with books and other stuff. Plus, my room. Plain and simple. I hope you like it. You can sit anywhere, so help yourself. If you like, I can leave you to do whatever, and I can go back to cleaning. What's mine is yours, after all. He reminded me of that every single day, and he never forgot it. Would I like to join you? No, thank you. I can be of better use somewhere else. No, wait, that's not what I meant. I, uh, I didn't mean it's, it's not like we have to, uh... <laughs> no, you don't need to do anything. Just make yourself at home. I'll go get you something from the fridge. That is, if you want anything. Please, Please don't, don't say me. Oh no, I'm shaking now. Some water with ice. Coming right up. Please? That, that word, word wasn't in his vocabulary at all. I can't remember the last time I heard him say please back in my last relationship, or anything nice for all that matter. But this feels nice. It's been so long since someone's been this nice to me. S scared You think I'm a bit scared. I'm not scared of you. Why would I ever be scared of you? You're just doing what's best for me like you always do. Wait, did he just ask if I was comfortable with something? If I wasn't so afraid of showing my emotions in front of him, I'd start crying right here. He must have meant it some other way. He must have. There's no way he actually cares about what I'm comfortable with. My boundaries were never respected in my last relationship. At least not while I was living with him. It was always his way. It was like my boundaries didn't exist. Yet, this feels different. Is it different? He isn't behaving like my last relationship, and this doesn't make any sense. Breathe. Just breathe. You're in the kitchen. You're just getting a drink for him. Nothing else. I just have to bring this to him. 
Huh? Huh? D don't touch me. I'll defend myself. Get. Oh no. Oh, uh, baby. I I didn't mean to throw water at you. I I just got scared. I'm really really sorry. Oh God, oh, God no. no. Last, Last time, time I spilled his drink on him, he threw a fit. fit. Please, Please don't, don't be angry. angry. Please. Please. Am I okay? Am I okay? I've reacted, I've reacted so, so suddenly. suddenly. If I was, I was holding, holding something, something else, else, I could have seriously, seriously hurt, hurt him. him. But, but why didn't he say something when he came in? in? Was it was supposed to surprise me? me? Yeah, I'm fine. A little surprised by you sneaking up on me like that. I'm really sorry for throwing water at you. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. Honestly. Something just came over me and I acted without thinking. I could have seriously hurt you just now. Please, please don't hurt me. I didn't mean to. I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'll do anything. You say that when I was only an inch in front of you. Just, could you be a bit more careful next time? Huh? What is it? Do you really want to know? Aren't you hungry? Well, I guess since you asked. This can't, this can't be, be happening. happening. This, this doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense. sense. Why, Why is he being so apologetic? So my old relationship was nothing like this. He told me they would be all the same and that none would ever care. Why are things happening like this? Was he lying? Was he trying to manipulate me? Was he trying to make me scared of everyone so he could just control me still? Did he know it would work so well? Did he plan that from the start? Oh, what the hell is happening to me? My own recipe of pasta, actually. I worked really hard on it. I was about to plate some. I I can eat it myself and make you something else if you want. Uh, you don't have to eat it just because I made it. I, I tried really hard. I wanted to make something you'd like. If this isn't good enough, I can always... I'm just trying to keep it together, but I swear it's hard for me. I know I worked really hard on the food tonight, but I don't think I was hungry. I made it because I wanted to impress you at my house for the first time, so that you would want to come back. Do you want me to put it away while you get comfortable? You want me to do something else? Um, okay, what is it? Anything, I promise. I used, I used to, to think, think I was so in love with you when we first, first got, got together, together. Even as stressed and tense as I was back, back in the beginning. beginning. I think I'm starting to fall for you all over again. I didn't think I'd ever get to feel emotions like this again after everything I went through. After everything he put me through. He never let me feel. And he was always one step ahead, dictating everything and pulling the strings. It was always about him. And I was always the subject. I was always being told what to do. The one who did all the work and suffered the most. I was invisible. I was alone. I was hurt. And it never stopped. He never stopped. But then you came along, and little did I know you rescued me. Oh, I was talking to myself again. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Alright, just don't take too long, okay? I mean, do whatever you need to. I'll be waiting. I have a choice. I actually have a choice. I can choose whatever I want. Do I continue the series from before, or do I start a movie that I want to watch? Or do I ask him what movie he wants instead? I know he said it could be my choice, but what if asking him what he wants is my choice? It makes sense, doesn't it? It's the only thing that I really know how to do anymore. Let someone pull the strings and do what he wants. Or who he wants. It's not like he hadn't done that before, leaving me here all alone. Uh, um, I, I didn't realize you were right behind me. 
why were you standing there? I swear I didn't do anything wrong. I, I swear. Please, Please don't. don't. Not, not now. now. Not, not here. here. I can't, can't take, take this, this anymore. anymore. It's so, so scary, scary and nothing, nothing has even happened, happened yet. yet. What in the world is wrong with me? I, um... I thought about this one, actually. It's the sequel to the first movie, and I wanted to watch it sooner. But everything just happened so quickly and I never had the time. So I thought, maybe, if you're alright with it, then we could watch the rest of the series together. Sounds like something we can agree on, then. I'll just pop it in the player and we'll be set. You ready for this? I suggest strapping yourself in for this one. It's a bit of a wild ride. <laughs> uh, Alright, tough crowd. I'm gonna push the play button now. This, this feels, feels really, really nice. nice. Just, Just getting to rest here on the couch, couch with him. Now. Not having to worry about being pushed around or bothered by anything. Not having to do what he wants while we're here and just getting to be together like this. Even though he does look a little sad. I wonder if I should have just sat with him instead of here on the other side. Maybe I should have just sat with him anyway so that we'd be closer. Like he wants to be. Maybe I should just... I mean, this is normal. Right? right? Doing, Doing what you know, you know they, they want, want, even if they, they never asked, asked in the first place. place. It, was it was like, like that, that before, before, and he was, was always, always waiting for me to make the first move, move when you first started. started. This, this is fine, fine I, I think. think. But, but he looks so, so peaceful. peaceful. Maybe, Maybe I shouldn't I should intrude, intrude on his personal space, space and, and I should just stay over here. I don't want him to get mad and think I did something just for him. It might make him think I'm needy. I can't act like that around him. Not at a time like this. It would ruin the mood. It would ruin the night we're having together. And he would just get mad at me for trying to start something that I shouldn't. I don't deserve to do what I want after all. Not after everything I've been through. There's not really anything I want other than just to be safe. I look lost? Uh, heh. <laughs> I, uh, hadn't noticed. I didn't mean for you to, either. Sorry, I'll just go back to watching the movie now. Yeah, I'm fine. Just relaxing and sharing the couch with you, that's all. I don't need anything, if that's what you mean. I will, babe. I promise. If anything comes to mind, I'll check in. But in reality, I'm not okay. I never have been, because I've been through so much, and I've been alone and had to suffer, and try to survive on my own with no help, and no way out of something that I knew was... so wrong. It was something that he knew was wrong, but he did it anyway because he was in control and could do whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. It was something I knew I needed to escape from, but I couldn't, because he would have hurt me if I tried to leave. He would have threatened me if I tried to talk about it, because that was the best way he could stay in control. And it worked. Every piece of torture, the yelling and all the other nasty things that happened worked. He kept me in line for as long as he wanted, and everything always went his way. And I never got out of it. Everything was always about him. But all this... This is so much different... He could have looked at me and done whatever he wanted, and I wouldn't have tried to fight back because I know what would happen if I did. He had been so... peaceful since he came here. But none of this feels right. He hasn't tried to do anything, and he's been looking at me with eyes I've never seen before. At least not back then, when everything was so bad. He's been so kind and careful. Every time he did something that scared me, he would always look at me and apologize, even though he didn't need to. And although he spoke firmly, it wasn't like at all I expected it to be. It wasn't sharp, it wasn't demanding or mean, and it almost looked like he didn't want to confront me. And he gave me space, too, 
he let me make my own choices, and he let me dictate everything that happened. That's not something I've seen before. At all. It feels really... really nice. After everything that's happened, after all the torture and pain and hell I've been through, I can finally... I... How much did you hear? Can... Can you hug... Hug me? I... <laughs> Baby? I'm... I'm sorry. I can't... I, I didn't mean for you to hear... Hear all... Hear all of that. <laughs> Just, just hold me. Not, not tightly, but can you hold me? <laughs> hey, babe. While I'm not busy crying and being emotional, can I maybe ask you something? Why aren't you like him? Like the relationship that I had before? Why is this so much different than before? My past relationship was hard. It was never in my favor, and I always had to listen to my old partner and did whatever he said and whatever he wanted, even if I didn't want to. My opinion never mattered. He was always the one calling the shots, and I couldn't do anything other than go along with it. I didn't have a choice. I was sad, and I could never talk to him without him getting mad or upset with me. And I was always alone. I couldn't even go out with people without him trying to stalk me or follow me. I couldn't relax at all. He would insult me and try to hurt me if I talked back, and he would always try to force me into situations that I didn't want to be in. Why is everything so different now? Y yeah? Wait, what do you mean, because you love me? He used to say that to me too, but he never said anything else before. You... like my smile? You really mean that? I forgot what it was like to smile around him. And I was always being berated for trying to be myself. Hearing you say this, though... You... want to help me understand... what love feels like? I... I, I think that I would like that. I've spent so long hurting and being hurt that I think I've almost forgotten to feel what it's like to be loved. Like, really, truly loved. I do. I really, really do. I just wish... I just wish that I could know what that feels like. I want it more than you know. And I've wanted it ever since I forgot what it felt like. <laughs> you want me to repeat what you say? Okay. I am loved. I am valid. I am special. I am cared for. And I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be treated with love, care, and respect. I want to feel loved. I want to remember that feeling. The world cannot hurt me anymore. I am protected. I am safe. I'm not in danger, and nothing is going to hurt me. I am safe. <laughs> Babe, can, can you, can you just 
hold me? Can you just hold me like this until I fall asleep? Please? If it's alright with you, what made me stand out and made you want to be with me? Why do you love me so much? More than you love the other people in your life. Why did you pick me? Out of all the girls you knew, why'd you choose me? Because you fell in love with me for all those reasons. But why else? Why did you choose me? Of course I believe you, baby. I just haven't heard words like those in such a long time. It's hard to believe that this is all real, and that all this is happening right now. I haven't felt emotions like this in so long. I don't know what to say. You want to take care of me. You really mean that? Even when I make mistakes? Even when I'm down? I would love to do that. To hold each other. Thank you. You feel so warm. It's making me feel so protected and calm. <gasps> and sleepy. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, it's still early. I'm so sorry. I was really trying to make today special. You believe it was special because I opened up to you. I guess today was the first time I did that. I've been scared for too long, but I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that you love me. It's all I ever wanted. I just wanted to be loved. Thank you. Before we fall asleep, can... Can I kiss you? That was nice. It felt warm and soft. Thank you. I can finally get some... rest.